All right, guys. Hey, 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 hey. Um, I am on my way to the ATM to get some money to stuff my cash envelopes. All right. So for those of you who don't know, I've been challenged by Asia Sierra Budgets and Rochelle Adamson Budgets to do cash envelopes for the month of March. Asia sent some envelopes and some labels. So they already picked out my categories and everything and now I'm going to stuff them. Of course they didn't say how much to stuff them with so I came up with that number myself. And this is my first time doing cash envelopes. I'm not a fan. Some of you know, if you don't know, check out the eye in the sky and you will see the video where I rant about how I really feel about cash envelopes. But I'm going to be a good sport and I'm going to give it the good old college try. Some of the things I'm going to track is A, how much I could have earned in points had I charged the stuff on my credit card like I'd normally do. My bank is an online bank, so I can't go into an, a branch and get an exact amount that I want to pull. So, you know, it just makes it a little more annoying. The other thing that I'm concerned about is I'm a saver, I'm not a spender. So for me, a reward system is to spend less than what I typically budget. Whenever I spend less, that money gets to stay in a bank account and I get to move it to savings or I get to move it to my mortgage. When I pull this cash, I pretty much gotta spend the cash because once again, my bank is an online bank account so I can't just put cash back into my bank. So I don't know, I'm just not a fan of that. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna keep track of everything and um, just really take y'all along the way. But that is it. So yes, y'all, this is my first time doing cash envelopes. So we're, I'm in Florida now and um, I have my cash, but again, we're really using Jay's money. So because I won't be getting points using my cards, Jay is going to be using my cards and then he'll just send me the money. He doesn't live a credit card lifestyle. He pays everything with his debit card and he, so he uses the cash money in his bank. So he can just use my credit cards and then cash at me the money or sell me the money and we good i'm winning i'm still winning y'all didn't want me to win but i'm still winning yeah you ready because jay know i got cash envelopes he's trying to dip into my stash let me get 20 bucks so, so, so you can play the lottery <laughs> Why it, doesn't make, it doesn't make sense for me to pay a atm fee and we could do a free 99 transaction see what happens when people know you got cash i, I rehearsed that line guys it's 20 dollars out of the cash envelope Ooh, you gotta mark it down. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys. So we're in Walgreens, and I'm gonna buy some makeup wipe remover and some Dramamine, and I'm gonna pay for this out of my Florida cash envelope because it's because I'm here. Yeah, I think she's getting used to this, guys. <laughs> Don't start with me. <laughs> so, so how did it feel? <laughs> So how did it feel using um your envelope? Um, it, it looked natural, like you like you've been on this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So today is our last day here in Orlando. It's actually we're leaving this morning, and so I wanted to leave a tip for my cash envelopes here. And then I realized something. Rule number one in cash envelopes. Get lower bills. I did not get any lower bills. I have all 20s. I have all 20s. I honestly just want to leave a $10 tip because I'm going to see if Jay got any money. Babe, you don't have no cash, do you? Yeah. Because I was going to leave a tip. What you got? $3? $4. $5. $5. I just wasted some cash yesterday, too. Because I wanted to leave a $10 tip. We've been here for four days night day and then, use your money. And then we're leaving and then today use your cash envelope. and then y'all know the the cleaners don't even come in i know the clean let me use your money the cleaners don't come in <laughs> oh you took my other bag downstairs oh uh, never mind i guess we're just gonna be generous today no i had a few i had a few dollars too because i'm gonna end up leaving a 20. i was saying it like they don't even come in to clean during the day because of covid yeah. so really they're just cleaning one time so they're really I wouldn't leave a $20 tip, Joe, but you buy a $10 tip. I wouldn't leave a $10 tip, but I guess we can go to the store. What, right now? Yeah, the store's right there. Okay. All right. Awesome. I'll be here working on something. Sorry, house. Sorry, housekeeper. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, yeah, going to leave a $10 tip. Uh -huh. Yeah, so rule number one, 
get changed. I just wanted to pop up here and show y'all how fancy I'm being right now, okay? I'm here. I'm going to be working from right here, like, you know, editing, doing all the things. And let me let y'all get the good light on me. Oh, look at that. And then look at, look at, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> hey, I inspired her to bring her whole situation out here and work from the porch. Yes. It is a beautiful day. It's like 70 degrees. It's probably 71 degrees right now. But look, I got I got lemon water in a in a crystal glass and a crystal goblet. Like I'm the queen of England. Yeah. All right. So I'm just getting back from Orlando. And um we had our Disney envelope. Disney? Three hundred dollars in the Disney envelope. This is what we have. This is what we have left. Let's count. Let's count. 20, 40, wait, hold on. Let's start all over. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. $250 out of 300 Y'all know how I feel about this. This fush niggles. Guys, normally, if this money was in my bank, in my category that I said Disney $300 and I only spent $50, I would just adjust the numbers. I would say, oh, $50 was spent at Disney. Now we have $250 to move elsewhere. That elsewhere would be my savings, it would just be somewhere else. But it, but the main point is it would still be in my bank account. This is in my hand. What am I going to do with $250 in my hand? Huh, Corinne? <laughs> Corinne, what am I going to do? These, these first world problems you got. I got a receipt. I got to figure this out because, again, I said my bank is online. So I can't just put cash back into my bank account. Do I just hold this into infinity and beyond? Do I hold this to infinity and beyond, Corinne? You gotta go to Virginia. What do you mean, Virginia? Pentagon City. I don't have Pentagon City. I have USAA. They have an ATM there. I'm saying we gotta. It's not convenient. Wait, Pentagon City? What? They have a USAA bank account, ATM? Mm -hmm. See, that's how she don't know nothing about cash. <laughs> I don't know nothing about cash. So I gotta go to Virginia. Buy me a Pentagon City bank account and then put my cash in there for USAA. Have you done this before? Yeah, it's right by um, Wall Market or something. and It's very secluded. <laughs> like, I didn't know. I was like, oh, there's an ATM machine for my bank right there. Well, that's what Corinne say. I don't believe her. I'm about to find the address for you. Y'all, if I have to do that, y'all ain't never going to hear the end of it. Y'all ain't never going to hear the end of it. <laughs> I think I know what I might be able to do. That's easy. I'm going to tell you what I might be able to do. Um, um, I'll probably drive down to Virginia Beach mm -hmm. later this month. And I can give my mom some money from that. How about that? How about that? Would that make y'all happy? It's ridiculous. I am sitting here working. Okay. And then you see we had, look, I had Chick-fil-A coffee. Because she, oh, when she picked me up from the airport, she had me a whole Chick-fil-A situation. She had me some uh, yogurt parfait. And she had me a chicken biscuit and a coffee. Okay. First of all, no money spent here. None of my money spent from cash envelopes. <laughs> And I'm just saying, and now here we go with this. Oh, and you see the lemon water. Now, ain't nobody asked for nothing. Ain't nobody say they wanted nothing. And this is how she come out. And what is that? Is that honey? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Why is that honey in a, bo in a wine bottle? This is from, um, oh, I forgot the place. But we went down there and got some, and then we found a place up here that, um, in Savannah. It's from Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. Between... My friends and Jay, <laughs> everybody just, y'all just be feeding me and treating me like the queen that I am. <laughs> she doesn't want to participate, but look, look what she just bought me. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Thank you. 
cute. Oh my, look at this. What is it? <laughs> oh my. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. This looks so good. I do. I like it. I already know. I love it. Y'all, this is why. This is why. Hey guys, okay, we are back. Back to life, back to reality. It is Wednesday. I'm going on my way to work. We had a breakfast, so we're going to stop by our favorite, not our favorite, but our favorite for now, McDonald's. And I'm going to get a meal. And I'm going to use cash envelope, my cash envelope. Mm -hmm. Yes, may I have a number two? You want the meal? Yes, please. Drink? I would like to have a um caramel, a hot caramel mocha. Okay, six fourteen. I have a twenty, and I have a one, and I have fourteen cent. Hello, twenty one fourteen. This gets me change. I don't have smaller bills, so we got fifteen dollars and change. All right, guys, we are here at the grocery store because we need some stuff. We do, we do, we do. So I'm gonna pull out my grocery envelope. Twenty dollars for groceries. Grocery envelope. And what I did, this is gonna be my first time going to the grocery store this month. Today is March 11th, I believe. But what I did is I made a list. This is my list. And this is all I'm going in here to get. I want to make chicken fajitas today. So I'm only buying the stuff that I need for that. I'm not buying a bunch of stuff because I always feel like, oh, I think I'm going to cook. And then I don't feel like cooking. And then the produce will not be as fresh. Thirty one forty nine. Hey guys, okay, so today is my son's twenty eighth birthday. 28. Is that not crazy? Is that not crazy that we, me, and all of y'all got a 28 year old? So, for his birthday, we are taking him out to eat plain and simple. And uh, the reason why we keeping it plain and simple is because a lot of y'all know I had um, helped him pay his, what was that, February? His February bills, rent. So I was like, that is your birthday, Christmas. Basically, I'm going to be holding that over his head for the rest of his life. Mm hmm Yep. That told him, you got to be careful who you accept money from. You know, <laughs> money comes with attachments. He wants to pay me back. Nah, I don't want your money. You ain't paying me back. I'm you holding this over your head forever. So for his birthday, he ain't getting nothing. But what he is getting is I'm taking him out to eat. My son loves to eat. I don't know if it's a Pisces thing because Jay loves to eat too. And y'all know his birthday about to come up as well jay's my boyfriend for those of you who don't know so we are taking him out to eat and i'm on my way now to go pick up my friend gwen then we're gonna pick up her daughter mercedes i think this is what we're doing i think i'm picking them up i thought about do i use my eating out cash envelope for this i ain't got enough money in that eating out cash envelope for this this was not factored into that eating out cash envelope i think that this falls more in the category of gifts but not gifts. Dang, I just thought about that. You know what, Asia and, and Rochelle, y'all should have sent me instructions because now that I think about it, you said giving or did you say gifts? But I just thought about it. Jay's birthday and my son's birthday is this month and my goddaughter's birthday. So all of that probably could have fell into the category of gifts. I don't know. So in the meantime, I thought about this. I said, well, I can use money from my Orlando cash fund because I didn't spend all of that money. I was thinking about places where I can pull the money and spend it. But I said, guys, we are we just cannot overthink this. 
So let us just use our credit card. We're going to use our credit card. And I'm very happy with that because it's going to be four of us eating. I'm going to be picking up the bill for everybody in the name of Andre's birthday. I get five times the points for using my credit card at restaurants. Yeah, we're not skipping out on five times the point when the bill is going to be possibly that large. Y'all, I'm so annoyed. Today, the Brinks security people were supposed to come and fix all the things. And then, of course, I'm here. They're supposed to be here between 8 and noon. And noon comes and 1230 comes, blah, 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 blah. Nobody shows up. I'm calling because they did give me the confirmations yesterday, both both for um on the phone. And they sent me a text confirming my appointment for today. Finally get in touch with somebody. They're like, oh, it has. it was said that they reached out to you to reschedule it. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. So I'm annoyed. So what we're going to have to do now is grab our cash envelopes and go get something to eat. Okay, so we at the grocery store and I want to pick up, Um, I got some groceries that I need to pick up. Made a list. Y'all know, we keep our list. But did you know your girl needed hot sauce? Like, who don't have hot sauce in their house? So I reached for some hot sauce because I needed some hot sauce and realized I don't have no hot sauce. Um, so yeah, I need some syrup, I need zucchinis, and I need carrots. But I also need to get a card for Jay because his birthday is like in two days. Um, and even though we celebrated his birthday together, I wanted to send him something in the mail. But of course, I'm late, I'm behind, but hey. And I also want to pick up, I need some stuff for my laundry, laundry scent stuff. And technically, all of this is not groceries, but what we're going to do about it? We're going to have to just spend from the grocery cash envelope, right? We don't have a miscellaneous envelope. We do have a Disney envelope that I could dip into. But that just feels kind of too, seem too much to me to have to be in there with one order of things that mixes up household goods plus groceries plus whatever. And I got to pull out multiple envelopes to pay for them from or try to take some envelope from another envelope and pay back another envelope. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I guess we're just pulling this from the cash envelope. But technically in my real, real life, when I use my credit card, all of this stuff is categorized correctly in the right spot. So I know that, nope, this was household and I put it under the household goods stuff and nope this was whatever else it was groceries and I take it from the grocery stuff but an envelope is an envelope just what y'all want on it oh I think we're gonna go with this one for ten dollars because we went to um Disney World for his birthday so it goes with the theme we got our stuff at the grocery store it came to 44.31 I had a penny so I put my little penny in the machine and then I put my little $45 in the machine and it gave me 70 something cent back. And that's where we at. But a good $28 of this wasn't even groceries. Let's keep that in mind. Let's 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 put a pin in that. 20 something dollars of it wasn't even groceries, but it's gonna go under my grocery expense. Boo! Ah, good morning, guys. Today is it's Jay's birthday. It is March 18th. And so to celebrate his birthday, we're going to go to Starbucks. Me and y'all. And Corinne, because she on the phone. Hi, man. I have a, um oatmeal, like a blueberry oatmeal. Blueberry oatmeal, of course. Anything else? That is all. Happy birthday to us. All right, so I'm going to pull out my cash envelope. How are you today? I'm well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. Alright. Y'all, I'm at the casino. And we're not supposed to be recording like that. But I'm gonna clearly, I have to use my <laughs> cash envelope to go in here. we just been in cash from envelopes. <laughs> I'm mixing them all up, y'all. Because I ain't got time. But what I know is, you know what I'm going to do? This little giving envelope. We're going to take $10 out of there to pay for the stuff that I'm getting here at Rose's. And then I'm about to go down to the store. So I'm about to give my mom this 10 so they can buy this for me. So it is what it is. Cash envelope. Yeah, remember we was in the store and I was like, I gave the $10. The $10 don't came back. How much $10 come back? I don't know how to come back. Mm -hmm. I come back. You know, paid. That's what you did. Yeah, they said my mommy paid for my stuff. Oh, I just did that. No, you want Yes. That. You see what I'm saying, y'all? Money always be coming back to me. She didn't say you didn't have to pay it. 
and they know I'm rich. I um went and bought this. I bought this um boba tea for like five dollars out of my eating out envelope. Hold on. Guys, okay, so we are here, and I got curious, and I, it's, what day is it? It's March 26th. I got curious. I want to count up my cash envelope. I'm missing the envelope. These are the envelopes, and I was like, okay, there's grocery, there's Disney, there's giving, there's McDonald's. Where is my Starbucks envelope? Now, I got to go search my car, because I remember having it yesterday. And I remember pulling it out because I was going to pay for Chick-fil-A, but then my mom ended up paying. And then she did ask me, did I have $5? And I did pull that from an envelope, which I'm assuming is my Starbucks envelope. But where is the envelope? I found it, guys. It was. It. Let me show you where it is. So this is why. Mm -hmm. Reason number 3097 why we don't F with cash envelopes. Look it, it's right here in the back seat on the floor. Here it go. And look, it got a whole 20 in it. This would have been gone. Cause I was like, was it in my lap? Yeah, I was like, did it um, fall off my lap while I was, you know, had it in my lap and I got out the car. Yeah, we ain't playing these games no more. This is too risky. This is too risky. And then I was saying, I don't even know how much is in the envelope. You just know there's money in the envelope, but you're not constantly, like right now, I was trying to tally up where I stood. And, and again, what I was saying was, even if you counted your envelopes, I'm not going to sit here and remember, there's $21 in my Starbucks envelope. Like, you know what I mean? I'm not going to remember what's in each envelope off the top of my head. Whereas if it was um, in every dollar or in my bank account, you know what's there because your bank account tells you what's there. Cash envelopes. Okay guys, so listen, today is March 26 and so there's 31 days in March, right? So five more days to the end of March and I got all of this cash that we need to trash, right? So the way I'm kind of seeing this is I might as well start spending my money, right? Mm -hmm. Don't you agree, Mom? Because it don't make sense to hold on to this money for no good reason. No, you can let it roll over. I don't want to. I don't want to use cash. I want to go back to my credit cards. This is too annoying. Do you see this? Well, then give it to me then. Mom, stop. Because <laughs> think right. about this. Think about, like, when, remember, Mommy, when I went to the um, store and got your juice yesterday? Really, Mommy, you want to pull out lottery tickets? You want to pull out your lottery tickets? I know. I need to go cash them in. I, <laughs> I got $3. But you can get cash back. If you use your credit card. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's better. And so I want to just, you know, I don't want to keep rolling over this money. Because this was already yeah. out of my budget. And so my thing mm -hmm. is, um, like when I went to the gas station for mummy. And I had to dig through these and find the right envelope. And then I had to pull my envelope out. And people see you pulling out cash envelopes. It just looks crazy. Mm. Like, ooh, look at her. And you know, because mummy had me in the. Because I don't carry cash in, in the hood now. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm saying, but no, when I went to, you um, cash some scratch yeah, mommy, Somewhere. I don't, I don't carry cash. Don't All right, well, let me tell them what I have in the Starbucks envelope. All right, so the eating out envelope is empty in the Starbucks envelope. We have $21 and I just want this on record because we're going to just start spending in this given envelope. We have $30. I'm probably going to keep $10 because I'm going to go get my lashes done. And so I still have $20. And this Disney envelope, I had already gave you money from the Disney envelope. So what I have left in here is $30. And I gave you, I pulled $200 from this envelope. See what I'm saying? All that money mm. just sitting around. Make no sense. And then in this grocery envelope, we still have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 1, 2, three a hundred and twenty three dollars now we about to go in here and get some groceries because i gotta make them some lentil soup then i gotta go take them out for ice cream because i'm you know what i those, care look check Tanisha this out. cares hmm? you know what those spikes i put a camera up there <laughs> go ahead, put it up there. okay Hold you know on. what those spikes are for no i don't see them i'm up on top of the roof oh we can't and you see, see you see some over there too yeah, for the birds, this one's yep oh mommy That's gave it away <laughs> 
Is it? Yeah, that's oh. for the birds. So yeah. the birds won't yeah. land in there and um. Oh, I would just try to mm -hmm. find All right, y'all. I took my girls shopping at Walmart. I told them buy the store. Buy mm -hmm. the store. Mm -hmm. The store mm -hmm. is yours. Here is our receipt. Look at that. They bought the store. <laughs> so it came to $87.12. Ma came through with the 12 cent. <laughs> right? And I put $100 of cash into the machine. But and then they gave me $13 back. What, Ma? You trying to say we stole bananas? No, bananas cost four cents. All right. The ban listen. It is not my fault. The bananas, you know what? These bananas rang up wrong. That's the problem. They said, this banana said 0.8 cent a pound. You see that? But mm -hmm. the banana, so I was scanning the bananas and I was going to put in the code. But it said, now you can scan the barcode. So I scanned the barcode and it says 0.8 cent a pound. So that's why the bananas only cost 4 cents. And then she said, okay. And then the machine was like, mm-mm, she trying to steal bananas. And they made the people come over. And then the machine had the audacity to play back the clip of me mm -hmm. <laughs> and put the bananas in the bag, like, over and over again. But you could see the bananas on the receipt. And she was like, oh, you got the bananas, right? I said, yeah. And she says, okay. She made me like I tried to steal some bananas. No, that thing just rang these bananas up wrong. But I had the bananas on a scale. Y'all mm -hmm. know how it go. Y'all know how it go. So, mm -hmm. yeah, mommy got some clothes. We got some air candles to do our air wax out of our candles. We're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Ma, you going to clean my ears? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I seen um, Chantel's World do air candles. Really? Air wax candles on her channel. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to take them out for ice cream. Lego. All right, guys. <laughs> I keep trying to spin these envelopes, right? Yesterday, I took us to get ice cream, as y'all know, and mommy ended up paying for the ice cream. And then today, I went, I grabbed my cash envelopes because we were going to the grocery store to get some butter and stuff. And guess what? Tisha ends up paying for the groceries. What are you getting? You used the jet, huh? The groceries? <laughs> Tisha ends up paying. Don't they know I'm rich? You know I'm rich, right? I know, I know. Oh, okay. I know how much you love your money too. Ooh, 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 ooh. So cash envelopes get to live another day. Okay, I'm sitting here trying to make sense of my envelopes. I'm also trying to where did I put the Starbucks cash envelope? It's misplaced. <sighs> Again, this is not the life for me. Credit card, you just gotta keep up with where, where's your credit card? But all the money is still intact. Envelope. Like I said, if you are somebody who maybe doesn't go too many places or whatever, you good. But I am always on the move. All right, I got it. Here it is. So I, I, I move around. And in my moving around, I don't plan out when I'm going to the grocery store, when I'm going to the restaurant, when I'm going to or wherever. So a lot of times I just got to grab my stash and keep it moving. But... Like I said, it's the end of the month. And so now I'm looking at reconciling my budget. But I still have this outstanding cash in various places. So this is not quite working for me. The idea of carrying it over doesn't interest me because I'm not interested in these envelopes. Yeah, like I said right now, I'm trying to reconcile these envelopes and what I'm doing with my life. So at the end of the day, here are my cash envelope results. From the Disney envelope, with the, which I originally had $300, I actually spent $50 in Disney in Florida. So I moved 30 of those dollars to the house cash envelope. I decided to keep at least $50 of cash around my house for when kids or people like that come by and they want to do little tasks for a little bit of cash. I normally don't have cash. This way I now do. And then I also gave $200 to my mother. $20 went unaccounted for, but it was spent somewhere. From eating out, I spent all $60 from the eating out fund and from the Starbucks fund, which eventually I decided to just combine the two because I only went to Starbucks once that month for oatmeal for $4. I ended up having $23 remaining. From the giving envelope, I spent I spent $10. So I moved 
$20 to the cash house and that gave me the $50 that I want to keep around the house. And then I will use the other $10 for a tip for when I get my eyelashes done. Groceries, $200 in that envelope. I had used $87 for the Walmart splurge. And at the end of the day, I had $16 remaining and I decided to just hold it. Ultimately, this leaves about $99 unspent that in my traditional system, I would either move to savings or to my mortgage, paying off my mortgage faster. Also in my traditional system, I would not have spent so much cash in Walmart just because I knew I needed to start spending it down. So when it comes to points, this is how it looks. For Disney, I spent about $20 that I could have used a credit card for at the rate of 1.5 points. This would have given me 30 points. In the McDonald's slash eating out envelope, I spent all $60 and I would normally get five times the points for that and this would equal 300 points. In the Starbucks envelope, I spent $17. So multiply that times five and that would give us 85 points. In Walmart, I spent $87. I multiply that by 1.5 and that will give us 131 points. Groceries, I spent about $97 and I get three times the points for groceries and that will equal 291 points. Now this equals a grand total of 837 points which equals about $8.37. Okay now let me tell you how points work. Roughly about 50,000 points equals about $500 right? So if we take away a zero that gives us 5,000 points so that equals about $50. Take away another zero and if you have 500 points that equals about $5. So that's how I got 837 points equals about $8.37. Now you might be saying well um, that's not a lot but think about this. If your bank account, you know your savings account or checking account paid you interest at that rate and you received about $8.37 a month would that be worth it? Think about $8.37 a month that you make in your bank account. You multiply that times 12, that's about $100 a year in interest that you can earn. So it's the same concept for me. Money is money. And for me, my credit cards have a job. They're employed. Their job is to go out there and make me money when I am doing what I was going to do anyway. And that is paying my bills and paying my monthly expenses by using them. So that is all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Now this video was a collaboration. Myself, Rochelle Adamson Budgets and Asia Sierra Budgets decided to challenge ourselves in areas that we weren't either too happy in or all that strong in. So for me it was a month of cash envelopes. For Rochelle, it was a month of no spending. And for Asia Sierra, it was a month of splurging and actually spending her money. So go over to those ladies' channels and see how they did in their month. Until the next time, guys, don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a member of the Fun and Budget family. And talk to me in the comments below. See you all in the next video. Peace.